<coughs> Lush Ibi and you. <coughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have you. Another one, more with a comedy. Yes, sir. I think we need to laugh a little bit more. I don't mind that. There's too much uh, bitterness and seriousness right now in the world. There's some people that think that we are supposed to be doing something in particular, uh, but we will not be intimidated by uh, these, I guess you can call them, what do we call them? Whatever you want, bro. What do you want to call them? I mean, the haters is an easy one, but you know, traditionalists, if mm -hmm, you will. Mm -hmm. We will not be intimidated by them. In fact, I think that motivates us to go even a lot harder. More. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go even harder. This is what ideas look like. This is what creativity looks like. And this is what we look like. Ladies and gentlemen, good to have you. Some more comedy. You ready? I love comedy. This one comes though, uh, we're gonna have to be careful. This is from Chick Comedy. Mm -hmm. Am I a fan of female comedians? Are you a fan of female comedians? I could care less what gender they are, <laughs> as long as they're funny. Honestly, I just as, want to laugh. That's, as that's long it. as they're funny, if they can make it, if they can make it relatable and make it make it pop and like just, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm in. I'm, I, I love to laugh. Look at all the other videos. Yeah. I'm always making jokes. I'm a funny guy. It's true. I like making jokes. I it's like true. laughing. But we have chick comedy here. Uh, and this comedian called Gulden, I don't know, this was uh, referred to me by, by a subscriber, mm. and uh, she talks about Arab men. I mean, what do we feel about that? Let's find out. All right, let's go. Godspeed. Godspeed. I was in a restaurant one day, and this gentleman is approaching me. He was a very good looking man. I mm -hmm. knew immediately he was an Arab because he was wearing his 7 Eleven uniform. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, it's gonna be one of those. I'm sorry, man. That was that was her opening? 7-Eleven uniform? What? Are you serious? What? Habibti, Hayati, Golden. Wait. What I, do you think? Arabs? I don't I don't know if an Arab that owns a 7-Eleven. I've never met an Arab working at a 7-Eleven. In my life. In my life. And we have those here, like in Canada. Actually, I've been to the States many times. They may be Southeast Asian, mm -hmm. like uh, Indian, Pakistanis, uh, hard workers, business owners. Yep. Successful business owners. Business, yeah. A good looking Arab but man. I've never seen an Arab man. Approached you. 7 Eleven. She knew he was Arab because he was wearing a 7 Eleven. I mean, listen, I really hope that the rest of the routine kind of picks up because you're, you can't be, you can't be racist and make it seem as though you're being funny you know what i mean you can't mask it and it's very obvious you're not that really rubbed me the wrong way all right let's uh, yeah oh i'm gonna slam her let's <laughs> go his chest is open his hair sticking out and big gold chain he ordered me he's like come here come here dance with me maybe you'll be my wife oh my god lucky me my american dream has come true <laughs> Okay, so we're trying to be relatable here. We're trying to be funny. We're trying to be comedians, right? Mm -hmm. So your relatable story, Guldin, is that you were at a club and an Arab in a 7-Eleven t-shirt showing chest hair and a gold chain came up to you and said, come to me, you will be my what? Like, what are we doing here though? Like, what are we doing here? Like, for real, for real. I'm sorry, I didn't even watch this video yet. And I didn't know that. I thought this was going to be funny. Well... And there's people laughing in the crowd too. I don't know how 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 drunk they are. Yeah, they're probably very drunk. Um, I'm gonna give her one more chance here. Uh, <clears throat> we got we got two minutes left of this, bro. Golden. Yeah, let's see. I am going to marry Chewbacca after all. <laughs> I'm like. Ha 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 ha! Body hair. I mean, w like ha. We're we're just gonna shame now. Is this what? Oh, my brain cells. No, but I mean, come on, like. Even if a man was making this joke, I would still be calling that out because body hair is not something you can control. Anyways. I got chest hair. I like my chest hair. Fuck, bro, your chest hair is on point, man. Freaking I got chest hair too, and I'm like, I love it. I love it. That's, that's the manliness, bro. Let's freaking go, man. Hell yeah. Signals everybody, I'm so left and right. I'm, 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 I'm sorry that she's used to uh, uh, prepubescent um, um, <laughs> man baby chests. Uh, you know, that are oh as God. smooth as a, as a baby's bottom. I mean, if that's what you're into, you do you, mama. 
but I mean, come on, what are we doing here? Sorry, I don't know your name, but let's say Jafar. <laughs> what are we doing? She made an, an Aladdin reference. That's an Aladdin re reference. Listen, the only reason I'm smiling right now is because I want to just break his laptop. Ah, don't do that. How hard of cringing. Yo, hit up my Patreon. What? Support the channel on Patreon. It helps buy new equipment and keep the <laughs> channel going, guys. If, if he ever breaks my laptop, link down this below. God. Let's go. Let's see, let's see, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We cannot dance here. Look around. We are in Chuck E. Cheese. He's like, oh, I know what you want. You are playing hard to get because you want me to buy you a car. And I can because my father owns mobile oil. I'm like, wow, I don't want your car, but I would love to meet your father. <laughs> that would be really nice. Oh, <laughs> uh, I get it. Okay. So she's not interested in the Arab 7-Eleven worker with a gold chain and chest hair named Jafar who wants to marry her, but she's interested in being a gold digger because apparently his father has money. No, oh, it makes sense. But what if his father is worse? Is that suddenly not an issue? Absolutely not, because she Gold, wants the money. Golden? Huh? She more, like, more like gold digger. Gold digger. <laughs> is there anyone with an accent in the crowd? No, uh -oh. it's only me. It's, life is very difficult if you have an accent in America. It's just so everybody makes fun of you. Even I'm sorry, what are you doing making fun of Arabs with an accent then? Yeah. Well, I mean, for her, I think she's like, yeah, this is all comedy. It's under the umbrella of comedy and she's doing it wrong because she's actually being racist and prejudiced Very. Th through her comedy. Bro, I'm all for it. You talk about anything you want when it comes to comedy, but if it's tasteful or if it, it's relatable yeah. or if it's rational in some way, like there's no comedic rationality to what she just said. Zero. Even as Zero. Arabs, like we can't relate. Right. And we've watched comedy shows where they talk big, big time about Arabs. Yeah. Like like they, they, they really throw out all of our stereotypes, yeah. you know? And the person that did it best is Russell Peters and I cry. Ma Maz Jabrani, Ma Maz Jabrani, Maz Jabrani with, you know. popped it off, yeah, yeah. One, One two, two, three, four. four. If you haven't seen Tutti those, frutti. yeah, check that out. This is straight garbage, for real, for real. She is absolutely horrendous. Yeah, yeah. She's so bad. Bad, terrible. Other foreigners make fun of you. I went to get my nails done in a Vietnamese salon. These two Vietnamese ladies, right in front of you, they're talking to each other in their own language. They're looking Wait at me it. while they're talking, and they're laughing. <laughs> Obviously, they are talking about me. Not even behind my back, right to my face, right there. They're like, I'm gonna know, I'm gonna <laughs> What? This is wrong. What, what did you say? What? Am I fat? What are you talking about? Ah, you talk very, very funny. <laughs> oh, really? I know, I bro. I talk very, very funny. I'm sorry. Well, you eat dogs. <laughs> so I'm thinking. I'm just gonna let this sit. I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit. <laughs> I'm just gonna let this sit here for a minute. <laughs> um. I'm going to get even with these people. I'm going to open my own nail salon strictly for Vietnamese. When I think she should open her own nail salon and absolutely stop doing comedy. Yeah, yeah, that's because probably a better career for th you. This is not, you, you notice the people, there's like one or two uh, people laughing in the crowd who are either her friends related to her or just as effed up as she is. You know what I mean? Like this isn't hilarious relatable logical comedy this is terrible comedy like and i'm all for it like talk it until the sun co comes up you know i'm good for that but it's like not like this this is just straight up hate this is hate you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. there's like a there's like a line and like, i think she crossed it even within the first five seconds she crossed it you know with the 7-eleven t-shirt 7-eleven t-shirt the gold necklace the chest hair the accent everything I mean, guys, the gold is there, the chest hair is there, I get that, but it's like, it's the context that she created yeah, yeah. that's not realistic. Yeah, yeah. And then she tops it off by saying, oh, but with everything that I just talked about, like, like, oh no, that type of man is not acceptable, but let me speak to your father. I think he can do something for me. <laughs> It'd be, it's like, I have an issue with you approaching me 
you're actually attacking my 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 femininity and like who I am and like my American dream. I don't need you, all right? I'm a strong, independent woman. Oh, your father owns Imperial Oil? Hello! Ha ha ha, ching ching! Freaking me. This is and bullshit. They come in. I am going to speak Turkish. Merhaba, Larbury. Boom, the apartment is jump. <laughs> Take that, witch. How about that, huh? Ooh, that was bad. That was bad. I need some sanity here. Oh my god. First of all, Arabs don't work at 7 Eleven. We own 7 Eleven. Plus, not all the Arabs get married to whoever they see. We have high standards. Very. Big, big up. I have a lot of male Arab friends, mainly Saudis, and they speak English better than you. <laughs> also, also, they don't eat dogs, and you're not funny the slightest. This isn't even comedy. It's just being generally racist. Yes. You can make racial jokes without being racist. racist. Big up. Big facts. My God. This is racist. My boyfriend is Arab, and he is a sweetie pie. I love him so much. Ah, oh, big shout out to that. <laughs> big shout out to that. This is proof that literally anything is funnier than a female comedian. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I tickled myself. Maybe I'll laugh a little. All right. So, I mean, wrong. I mean, let me know what you guys think. I'm very, very curious to know what you guys think. I didn't, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't see this one coming, guys. I, I meant, so I meant, bad. I meant just to have some fun with it, guys. But uh, I think we can recover from this. 100%. There's, there's some better stuff out there, mm -hmm. I think, for us. Yeah. Let us know what you guys think. And if you need anything, guys, if you need anything at all, all right? You put your gold chain on, That's it. and you meet us at the 7-Eleven. That's it, bro. Don't forget the chest hair. You suck! <laughs> Jeez.